I gr drive at great speed and great risk to our noses, which are now going to get chill blains, aren't they, Brian? Yes, chill blains. I'm just going to call in those lines where they've been. Stations, those two male lines headed east into the Malwati at Ongari uh, cut line, unable to follow. Righty, here we go. Now, because Steffi's having a bit of trouble with his uh, with his signal, I'm afraid you will have to put up with me every so often on the Game Drive channel, because otherwise we won't get into the animal sightings, and that is very important, of course. So normally, what we would do is link away when you know the other presenter would show you something interesting rather than you having to see us do the admin of the day. But Steph's got to test out the bushwalk in various different areas today. So, yeah, I think it's going to be fairly dodgy as to the amount of signal he has. But we might be lucky. Sun has come out, Brian. It's a wonderfully beautiful day. Glorious winter skies overhead. Prospect of leopard and cub. Very exciting. Very exciting. And I know you're all excited to see Shadow and Cub. Get out of the way, Starling. It's much better up here on the crest. Now, Xavier, you heard that she had two cubs. I believe she did initially. I'm not surprised in the slightest that one of them uh, seems to have died prematurely. That's totally normal. Probably only, I'd say, what is it, three in ten male leopards get to independence and probably only sort of five in ten females. And Shadow has had particularly poor luck raising her youngsters. She has yet to raise a youngster to independence. Uh, the notable exception being Sindile. And for those of you who don't know, Sindile now almost two years old. Uh, he went into rehab, so he had to spend eight months in a rehabilitation center for a rabies scare he's absolutely fine they've released him again he's okay and seems to be coming back into this area and so that will be the first cub that she's managed to raise to independence and so yeah and i'm not surprised she's lost one of these ones we don't really know why one of the theories is that she's for some reason very unusually for a leopard of this area does not hoist her kills so she very seldom will kill something and take it into a tree which means that if she does have cubs they're under the constant threat of being eaten or attacked by hyenas that said we watched Karula the other day she killed a male impala there was a tree imminently close by that she could easily have dragged the cub into but she didn't and not the cub it's the kill into the cubs fed on the ground with her so i don't know that that's necessarily the reason shadow's been so unsuccessful elvis coming elvis what's your position now copy that i'm on philemon's cut line i'll be with you in one minute this is looking great everybody <laughs> looks like we're gonna see it <laughs> 